Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and it's the biggest special event of the year in the NOFSRL, and we're glad to bring it back to you. It is the Junior Johnson Memorial Shootout, and we are looking forward to this. We have five different classes you can sign up for, and including the Chick-fil-A Cup Series and Hers Dash Series. Of course, Chick-fil-A Cup Series running their throwback race during this whole event, and it's going to be two weeks from now, June 11th through 13th, right here on Napa Fan. And I got Alex Bongster alongside me, and I know you enjoy this event uh, more than anybody else. It's it's your baby, and uh, we're definitely looking forward to this year's. But uh, why don't you tell us about all the classes that we got this year? Same system as last year but uh what's going on here for this year's junior johnson memorial shootout yeah so the classes are the same as kind of last year you know we don't really have too much of a difference we still have your super late models your late model stocks your street stocks your super truck class and your modified class however the one little change up we've had recently that we're planning to do here within the week before or leading up to the event, we're going to have our own little prelude using Legend Cars on iRacing. That's going to be an online event where the winner of that event will get a cash prize and will also get an automatic reserve into the signups into this race of a number of their choosing if it's available. So hopefully you know everything could be perfect. And honestly, I can't wait for this event. I'm yeah. super excited. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be great, and uh, we're looking forward to this year's event. Now, here's how the signups work for it. We have two late model classes and three other classes. You can sign up for one of the late model classes and one of the other classes. So we have super late models and late model stocks, and then we have modifieds, street stocks, and super trucks. You cannot be in the super late model class and the late model stock class, and you cannot be in modifieds or street talks, but you can be in modifieds and the super late model class. Um, for the super late models, and it is the main event, the super late models, the main 100 lap event for Saturday night in the Junior Johnson Memorial Shootout, and the modifieds are kind of the big other event as well. Those are the two main big events. Uh, both of them have over 42 cars uh, that can enter. And uh, if we do go over 42 entries for each of those classes, there will be a last chance qualifier, meaning there will be drivers who don't make it onto the race. For the other three classes, for late model stock, street stocks, and super trucks, uh, everyone makes it into the feature event for those classes. But uh, with that all out of the way, I think we're going to go ahead and just jump right in to showing you guys the cars. One car per person in late models and one car per person in an other class. So you can have two cars for this. You can be in two different classes, but you can't be in both late model classes and you can't be in two of the other classes combined. But you can be in a late model class and another class uh, for this event. Why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us what we got here in the super late model class here for the James and E. Wicker Shade. And actually, before I did it, when you are signing up, um, Make sure you uh, give us the correct code, so because some of the numbers overlap, of course, in these classes. Uh, definitely let me know which number you want specifically um, in which class. So for super late models, is say SLM when signing up. For late model stock, say ST. For modified, say you M. Say... And then for street yep. stock, say SS. And then for trucks, you say truck. So yeah, that that's how it goes. And all this is in the description, of course. The veterans who uh, know how to sign up, they know how to do that, and they know just go right in the description and read everything out. But why don't you tell us the cars that we got here for the super late model class in the Junior Johnson Memorial Shootout? Yeah, and so here we are. These are going to be the cars that are available at the moment. So we're going to start with the list. We're going to start at the top. We have the number one that's open right now. We're going to have the number two, Joey Coulter Motorsports car. And then next down, we're going to have four that's going to be open woodman racing then we're going to have the five that's going to be open junior motorsports super late model we can continue going down we have number six and then we have the number seven that'll be open the tyler church racing car and then we have the number eight and then it's the number nine and we have the double zero and then we have the zero one that's going to be open followed by the zero seven then the ten then we're going to have the twelve the fourteen the fifteen the 16, the 17, the 18, the 19, the 23, the 24, the 25, the 26, the 29 will be open. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to try and go for that number 26 because that's a Bubba Pollard car. Uh, 31, 
who's going to be next down here at 33, number 40, which is a former LFR car, but hopefully at some point we could just say it's a Fury car. Because, uh, you know, LFR ripped off Fury. Anyway, 41 will be open, followed by the 42. Then it's the 44. We continue going down. And 45 is going to be the next one open. The number 47 will be open, followed by the 50. Then we go for the 51, the f Stephen Nassie car, followed by the KBM 52. The 54, Matt Craig car. The number 56, followed by the 57. Then the number 58, the 66, the 67, the 71. The 74 will be taken by Ashland Boyd, followed by the 75. The 77 will be open next for Crooks. Empire Racing's number 82 will be open, followed by the second Bubba Pollard entry, number 83. Then we have the number 88, followed by the 98, the 99. And the 118. So those are going to be our open super late models for this event. There's going to be a one car per person. Remember, you can only sign up in super late models or late model stocks. There's no in between. Speaking of late model stocks, let's move on to the next one. We have the number one that's going to be open here, followed by the number two Myatt Snyder car. Then we have the number four. The number five will be the next car open. And then it's followed by the number seven, the number double zero another double zero zero three will be open next followed by the zero four and the zero seven followed by the zero eight of brad or i think that's deke mccaskill the 11 will be open so will the 12 the 14 will be open followed by the 16 and then the 18 and that's bradley mccaskill's number 18 then it's going to be the 20 the 21, my personal favorite car, the 23, the 25, followed by the 27, the 28, the 31, the 33, the 34, the 30, or the 41, the 42, the 44, the 51, which is going to be the Lee Pulliam driver development car. And then it's going to be the 54, the 58. And then we continue moving down. It's going to be the 59, followed by the 63 peak antifreeze coolant late model stock. Then the 66, the 74, the 77, the 88 junior motorsports late model stock. The 97 Duza motor or the Duza racing car, followed by the 98 Phil Parsons racing late model stock. And rounding it out with the Mike Darnay racing late model stock that's going to be your open classes for the late model stocks luckily all of them are open so that's always a good thing mm -hmm. so the late model stock feature will be friday night before the chick-fil-a cup series race and the super late model feature will be saturday night the main event 100 laps at north wilkesboro ashland boyd defending winner of that main event that's why he gets a reserve back in the number 74 is the only driver who has a winning reserve and uh, we say winning reserve because when we go over to the modified, which will also be Saturday night, 76 lap race at North Wilkesboro to lead in to the um, super late model feature. We have 58 cars available for this. So if all 58 are taken, we're going to have, or we're already going to have heats for this one, but we'll also have an LCQ if that is the case. Um, and two of these cars do already have um, someone reserved for them, and Alex will go through these. Uh, yes, yes I will. All right, so here we go through the modifieds. These are the new 2019 modified, so definitely, you know, there's a huge difference, as you can see from the start off. But let's start it off with the number one, Monster Energy Modified, that's going to be open. Number two... Number three is going to be next, the old number three, Blue Deuce, followed by the number five, the number six, Ryan Priest car, and then followed by the number seven, Tom Baldwin Racing car. And then we have the number eight that's going to be open next, followed by the nine, the zero one is going to be open next, followed by the zero six. And then we're going to continue it on with the zero seven, Patrick Emerling car. We scroll down and continue going forward to the number 11, followed by the 12. Then we have the 14, Blake Barney racing car, followed by the 15 remnants of what's left of LFR. Rip-offs. Uh, number 16, Timmy Salamito car, followed by the 18, the 19, and the 20. Moving on to the 21, Nathan Stapleton will be in the number 22, as per my request. 
that well, I have a put in for that. So he gets to choose what uh, who drives his family cars. That's yeah. Know, that's just that's just the yeah. fair thing to do. So yep. So yeah, Nathan Stapleton in the twenty two twenty three is open though, followed by the twenty four and the twenty five. And then continue scrolling down. We have the 26, the 32, the 33, the 34, the 35, the 36. And then we continue scrolling down. We have the 38, which are both going to be repping uh, Wade Cole tribute schemes. As many of you know, or if don't know, Wade Cole, a modified driver, passed away earlier this year. Uh, so both cars are going to be sporting the yellow and black tribute schemes to Honor Wade Cole. That was his, his modified in the past, so those are going to be both moved on. But moving on forward, number 40 is going to be open next, followed by the 41. Then it's going to be the 45, the first of two Catalana racing entries, followed by the number 46. The 47 is next. The 49, the 51 will be taken by Zachary Fitzwater. He's had very good success in this number 51, so... He continues to be in the 51 and hope for more success. The 52, however, is going to be open, followed by the 54, the second Catalana Motorsports car. The 55 is going to be open, followed by the 57 for Duza. The number 58 for Goody Racing. The number 60 will be open, followed by the 64. Continuing down, we are going to have the 70, which is open, the Andy Sice Racing car. The Chris Pasternak Motorsports number 75 is open, followed by the Gary Putnam number 77 will be open as well. The number 78 is open, followed by the number 79 for Hillbilly Racing. The number 82 Danny Watts Racing Modified will be open, followed by the number 84. The number 85 will be open, so will the number 88. The 92 is open, followed by the 95. The 97, the second Brian Duza entry, and the 99 will round out the Modifieds. And like I mentioned, the feature for this event is going to be Saturday night, June 13th, right before the Super Late Model Feature 76 laps. There will be heat races Saturday afternoon, and if necessary, an LCQ Saturday afternoon as well, June 13th. And then on to the other two events, and... We're going to begin with the Street Stocks. They will be Thursday night before the HERS Dash Series finale. We got ourselves the number one, the number two, the number three, the number four, number six, number seven, number nine, the double zero, the 12, the 21, the 22, the 26, 33, 34, 35, 38, 43, 44, 54, 57, 59, 60, 65, 68, 69, 77, 89, and 112. All of those cars will be in the Street Stock feature, which will be Thursday night, June 11th. And then the final one will be on Friday. That will be the first feature event on Friday before the late model stock event and the Chick-fil-A Cup Series race. It is the Super Truck event, the number 7 number 10, number 16, number 17, number 22, number 27, number 29, number 32, number 36, number 47, number 50, number 55, number 57, number 62, number 66, number 72, number 77, number 78, number 79, number 81, number 87, and number 97. So that is it. I know it's a lot to take in. One more time, it's one car per person in a late model class and then one car per person in another class, modified street stocks or super trucks. Uh, you can see all the mods that I have here. I'm looking for the late model mod again. There it is. And uh, yes, yeah, so the event will begin June 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Napa Fan. Uh, we'll begin right away with uh, all the events that uh, take place. We'll have qualifying for the late model classes, qualifying for modifieds. We'll have heat races for the late model classes and modifieds. Uh, we'll actually also have heat races for the Chick-fil-A Cup, so it's going to be a great event, and uh, we're definitely looking forward to it two weeks from now right here on that fan. So all the information is in the description uh, to sign up. If you have any questions, just let me know, and uh, yeah, hope you guys have fun. So any final words on this one, Alex? Uh, not really, other than, uh, you know, good luck to everyone who signs up for this event, uh, and if you do sign up, thank you so much for signing up. It's greatly appreciated doing this for a big event 
for Junior Johnson and all the kind of stuff like that. And I said, really appreciate it if you do. God bless and uh, have a good rest of your day. That's about it. Anything from you? That's it. You said it perfectly. Have a great day. Hope you enjoy signing up. Hope you enjoy this race. It's going to be fun. So much short track action from North Wilkesboro two weeks from now. That's all that's going on that weekend as well. So it's a big deal. And we're definitely looking forward to all you uh, taking some part in this year's Junior Johnson Memorial Shootout. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for signing up. Like I mentioned, realistic names only. One car per person in a late model class and one car per person in another class. But uh, other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I'll also release the schedule for this soon as well so you guys know when each event is on what night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Alex for putting this whole thing on. Of course, it's a collaborative effort between the two of us to put this thing on for you guys. And we're looking forward to the 2020 Junior Johnson Memorial Shootout here from North Wilkesboro. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.